two years ago, we were approved through ALI, who is our third party validator. Um, they approved our QMS system, our quality management system. That allows us to um, extend our water testing results and saves us a lot of money. But due to that process, we have to follow dimensional logs. Those dimensional logs um, are within just about every station from T-bar locations, drilling locations, Sawyers from when they cut the bars. Um, what it does for us is we're checking um, just about every fifth cut um, on, at the Sawyer level. Um, and what that does for the Sawyer, it allows them to check the quality of the work. It, they check, they're checking the machinery. Um, and in doing so, we're catching five errors rather than not doing the dimensional logs. We could run it out to 50, 100. So we're avoiding any large scale uh, issues in the plant um, and improving our quality. We know exactly where we stand. So with these dimensional logs, when they're seeing an issue around, okay, it's starting to grow, they're seeing a 30 second here and a 30 second here and they haven't changed anything, there's, there might be something wrong with a saw. So then they can bring it to maintenance's attention, correct it, and we're back into spec and we're, we're doing a good job again. Um, but overall the dimensional logs, uh, they save us from errors in the end. Um, because we have so many processes going down the line, um, we want to make sure that all of these are being taken care of. We can go back and see where the error is. If we have a problem on a job site with human errors, we do, we do make mistakes, but we certainly correct them and we want to be able to ha um, have a process that can go back and root cause the issue and the dimensional logs allow us to go back and say, oh look, we were off at the saw. We can find the error, repair it, and move forward. So it, it's a good tracking system. For someone just getting starting out um, and understanding how to uh, input at the, at the dimensional logs, um, I think number one is sustainment, making sure that you're doing it every time. Um, don't rush and miss something. Um, missing something, can cause issues for the rest of the team down the line. Um, being able to sustain it, uh, we know where we stand at all times then. If someone doesn't sustain it, it makes it difficult to track. Um, we have good frontline team members, so we don't really have an issue with sustainment, although human error can fall back into play, and uh, we could be rushing that day and miss five or 10 um, and end up with some issues.